interesting. You know, there's no doubt that um, you know there is a very strong kind of globalist current if you like, in the world that is around COP26 and all sorts of other things. And the kind of assumption that, you know, the right solutions to everything are international, they're international treaties, their leaders getting together and so on. And I don't think you need resort to any kind of conspiracies about this. I think it's just, you know, leaders spend um, all their time talking to each other. And, and certainly for Western leaders, if you want to be thought of as a kind of decent right thinking person you you tend not to get too far away from what all your your peers think so that's why you know the path of least resistance is to go along with with climate policies for example or to you know fall in line with um the sort of received international thinking on things and i think that's why national democracy is so important because it's the the pushback and i think you know one of the frustrations we had in the eu was that national democracy didn't matter um you know whatever we decided at elections you know could you know if that wasn't eu policy if it wasn't eu law there wasn't anything you could do about it it's sort of less extreme internationally and globally but it's it's still there so national democracy is really important as a way of keeping people in touch with what you know the man or woman in the street thinks about things and, mm -hmm. and how they see the world that's that's what we achieved i think after brexit but it's just mm -hmm. the beginning